Hey, Nico, you two watch your asses down there, huh? Piece of cake. Come on, kid, you drive. What is it, kid? Huh? What? What are you looking at? What are you looking at, kid? Tell me. Nothing. Right? Just never been down here before. Worked uptown. Didn't need any guns. Yeah, well, this is a promotion, kid. You got a raise, right? Look, at least give me a gun. I mean, if the cops don't even go into jungle ground, I ain't going in there without a gun. Kid, do me a favor, will you? Just drive. All right, just drive. You know, I heard what's going on down here. Oh, yeah? What you hear? Someone's trying to take a piece of Mr. Placetti's action. I know about the hits. Well, that's why you got me, kid. I'm insurance. This place is fucked. I don't know about this. You know what this is gonna be? This is gonna be a slice. Get it? <laughs> Kid, you gotta lighten up. Ah, just pull over here, the brownstone. You gotta watch out for everybody around here. You got it? Place is crawling with psychos. Jesus. Jesus, don't get down here much. This is a war zone. These punks want what we got. All right, it's clear. Get going. And remember, with Papa's pizzas, the smiles are free. Dope dealer, come on down. You're the next contestant on the price. It's your life. Don't, don't you kid. Psst, wrong answer.
Dragon warned you. Thanks for playing. Thanks, partner. Lieutenant, that's for the guests. And since you helped Caitlin talk me into this little affair, you gotta behave yourself. Hey, Sammy, how you doing? Good. How are your reflexes? Catch. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to be hosting a party. You haven't been paying attention to Caitlin. It's not a party. It's an exhibition. Gallery owners. Critics and loads of snobs. Sounds important. She seems to think so. What about you? Know where the bedroom is? Okay, just take it. Take it and go. Bring it up. Put it on the counter. Open the safe. I have no money in the safe. Get up. I said open the safe. There's no money there. Uh. Ah! Uh. Uh. Here, I got the money here. Take it. You can't do this. I have protection. Protection in jungle ground? Not anymore. Thor, do you want to come over here and talk some sense into this guy? OK, OK. Please. Sammy. How's the exhibition? Oh, 
She's an absolute smash. Not that she cares. Oh my God. Sam's talking to Louis Brising. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Louis owns a gallery uptown. It's absolutely perfect for Sammy's work. Come on, before she blows it. Samantha, flow of line, texture, it is too, too erotic. Lewis, you know Caitlin Dean from Art and Anarchy magazine? She arranged tonight's party. Hello, Caitlin. Hello, Lewis. And this is my guide to the mean streets. Lieutenant Jake Cornell, Lewis Brising. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Brising. Pleased to meet you, too. I was just remarking on Samantha's ability to find inspiration in the most contemptible of subjects. Decay. Corruption. I suppose it's bewildering for you to see the horrors of your job transformed into art. Well, art doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be truthful, doesn't it? A quaint philosophy. Samantha tells me you grew up on the streets. Yes, I did. Yet you chose to join the police. Extraordinary. The state of denial you live in must come with its own zip code. Lewis. Oh, that's OK, Sam. Of course it is. Jake is a lawman. He's trained to ignore mockery. You don't really believe I'm trying to offend you, do you, Jake? I just figure you're like a kid that hasn't been toilet trained yet. He doesn't mean to offend with a load of shit he's saddled with either, no, does he? Ouch. Congratulations on your first exhibition tonight. Perhaps it won't be too, too long before your second. hell am I thinking about? God damn it, Cornell. Samantha, I'm sorry. I, I mean, do you believe that guy? What an idiot. Samantha finds inspiration in the most contemptible subjects. <laughs> what a flake. Yeah, but, but Sammy, he owns a art gallery. Yeah? So what, the only people that are going to see my work there are some fat cat collectors. I want to provoke people, force them to think. I don't need a gallery for that. <laughs> I'm going to make it, Cornell. Grab me now and lose me forever. Robert Nielsen. He said he'd be up front. You're frowning. Is Nielsen friend, foe? Fed. He's a sleaze with the government's task force in organized crime. So you'll be leaving? No. Not a chance. I'll wait up. I love you. Hello, Nielsen. How's it going? You'll excuse me if I don't shake hands with you. Sure, no problem. Here, I got something for you. Look at that. Three more of Blissetti's cocaine drops were hit last night. He lost another 14 people. I heard. Pizza van. Next to will be opening up a drive through Why am I looking at these? Look, Lissetti is very, very eager to end this little war. Now, no one knows the players down there like you. I want you to tell me who do you think has got the kind of muscle to force Papa B into a, a truce? The Ragnarokers. The what? The Ragnarokers. It's a gang. Top of the jungle ground food chain. Their leader, Odin, takes a war on drugs, literally. Yeah, what's he want? Corner the whole market for himself? Maybe. Maybe the rockers are really hoping to clean up their turf. Two of Bassetti's guys are on our payroll. So if your little gang has gone vigilante, I'm gonna have to arrange for protection. 
I want to see your rockers, or whatever they're called, in action. Tonight. Find yourself another pull toy. I guess you didn't hear that one of the guys in that pizza van was an undercover cop, did you? Apparently went up like a torch. Come on, Jake. All I gotta do is make this part of some big official investigation, and I can place you and your team under my supervision for weeks. <laughs> now, you really weren't doing anything tonight, were you? Just a little partying, wasn't it? So how long have people have been in Jungle Ground? Look, they've only been working Jungle Ground for a month. Okay. Blackjack, Whitney, Nielsen. Yeah, I might probably work with both of you. Nah, save it. Whitney, fill them in on what's happening, would you? Well, we've spent weeks trying to convince this rocker gull named Ferret that we're connected. It was short notice, but we managed to set up a face-to-face -face with his lieutenant, dude named a dragon. We go in there posing as supplies, dangle the deal, see if they bite. And that way we know whether they're in the game or not. So where is this face-to-face? -face? Kirk Street bus terminal. So that's neutral territory? <laughs> Ain't no such thing in jungle ground, baby. Bulldoze this to the ground. Let's rock. Get in and get out. Understand, little brother? There you go. Have a good day. Citizens, I told you, knowing about, man. Sally. How you doing, Dragon? I'm Turk. This here's a friend of mine. Cut to the chase, man. What do you want? Tell him what you want, man. Just want to thank you, man, for clearing out my competition. Oh yeah. And why do you think I'm doing it? Maybe you're civic-minded. Maybe I don't like what I see. Oh, I like what I see. Blow off, pretty boy. You know something, Dragon? You don't have to like me. All you gotta like is the product I'm carrying. Quality controlled, grade A, cash and carry merchandise.
Look, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I told the Colombians and Placetti's wise guys. We don't want you peddling your poison in our world. You sell anything on our turf and we'll kill you. Nature hates a vacuum, man. You talk to your dude, Odin. If either you come to your senses, Ferret here knows how to sniff us out. Let's go. You bitch! Gun! He's got a gun! Shit, Nielsen, no! Letter, no guess. Shut up, punk. He's on the street now. Game show. Go round up some soldiers. He's not going home. I thought you said they were solid, man. They seem solid. Dragon. Cop, our chicken shit war chief was talking to the cops. Your brother's gonna lose his colors for this one, kid. Now, sucker. How's it feel, huh? <laughs> Do you know what a straw death is, Mr. Policeman? Straw death is a shameful death. Death of invalids and old men. Of traitors and prisoners taken in battle. Hello, Odin. You haven't had a disadvantage, I'm afraid. 
Yeah, I can see that. His name is Jacob Richard Cornell. Vice cop. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Cornell. You killed six of my people tonight, Jacob. Slow day. <laughs> Look at this. Tiny but tasteful. What's her name? Fuck you. Huh. Well, she must be native to the city, huh? Oh. But really, Miss Fuck You's name is Samantha Wood. Will be sure to RSVP her. Dragon, bring our guest to the window, please. You're the scud king, huh, kid? You walk his dog for him, too? I won't find much sympathy with Dragon, I'm afraid. You can see a, a bent policeman was supplying his little sister with heroin, and, well, she, she had a bad experience. Permanently. Jacob, I'm gonna show you something that not a lot of uptown people get a chance to see. Represent Valhalla. You know what Ragnarok means, Jacob? It's the Viking word for apocalypse, Armageddon. The children of the gods rose from the ruins just as we have risen from the streets. Yeah, well, I'm sure there'll be a force to reckon with when they hit puberty, huh? My friends, we have been invaded. Our borders violated. Our citizens harmed. And we have a man responsible for this. What can we do with him? He is a friend of the police. He's a murderer! Yes, a murderer. And what does justice, even police justice, demand of murderers? <laughs> Execution, yes. We have no choice. Be a guide to those who weaken our ranks. You speak with outsiders. You die as a traitor. What about the cop? The cop? Yes. Well, I've decided to let a little friend, Lieutenant Cornell, go free. Captain 
Deputy. What do we have here, Ivan? Looks like a gang hit. Uh, we lost two cops and a fed. They lost four, maybe five. Maybe. Okay, it's the two officers. Who, who's the commanding officer? It was a... Uh, Lieutenant Jacob Cornell. Well, wake him up. Find out why his people were down here babysitting a fed. And tell him they won't be coming back. And Ivan, let's get them off the floor as fast as we can. Hello? Hello? Jake? Jake, is that you? I thought I'd stay and give you another chance to discuss the terms of your gallery opening. Or wasn't that too, too sweet of me? Crazy. Trusting you to stop him is crazy. Look, if he gets away, you know he's gonna come back with a hundred cops. His people died tonight, too. This isn't a game. Everything is a game, Dragon. You lost five soldiers, and I will grant you five hunters. Take Shades, Loki, Thor. What is your name? Spider. Spider. Take Spider. And last but not least, take Game Show. Every young warrior should have a chance in the field. No. No? OK, Odin, well, I'll play your game. But I'm not going to risk my brother. Dragon. Who could you find to be so dedicated, so devoted? I'll take VP. He's your right-hand man. Who could be more devoted to your whims? You send me up there, you jeopardize everything we've planned. Fine. VP is a fine choice. My office should be represented on this little Adventure. What about me? I caught him. And he killed two of my men in the alley. This is true. Dragon, take Diesel as well. Your chance is just spelled a zero shit here. Lewis, it is getting really late. Never too, too late, Samantha. It's in my interest to nurture young artists. My gallery survives on their innovation and intensity. <laughs> yes, well, my intensity is flagging. Samantha, if your work was really important to you, you'd invite me to spend the night. Lewis, there is a word for what you're suggesting. Yes, there is. Success. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Lewis. Please, don't be too, too angry. I expected something more adult from an artist of your caliber. <laughs> ah, Jacob. I know you're going to do your very best to get home. But as an added incentive, I've sent the twins to keep Miss Fuck You company. So if you don't make it there by dawn, or if they catch a glimpse of the police, well, I leave it to you to imagine what they might do, huh? <laughs>
You snake, I fuck you. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Don't spend all your passions on me. Save it for the game. Now. Better get going. I grant you fair passage. Hey, kid. You really think King Shit here has the best interest of your people at heart, huh? Come on, you're not that stupid. Jake, please. Samantha's waiting. And, uh, Don is not. It's full of surprises, isn't he? Diesel, I want you to bring me back his ring finger, please. Let's get him! Go! Where the fuck is he? Maybe he hasn't come down yet. Everybody split up and go in different directions. No! What do you want us to do, leader? Divide the block. We'll search in teams. Don't let him pick us off one by one. Pick us off? Not a fucking chance, War Chief. Keep yakking, Diesel. He's getting farther away from you by the minute. Dragon, we found him. Where? Up there on the fire escape. Come on. City carries a gun.
mine. Man, you still think this is a game? Okay, let's go. Repeat, give me that gun. You'll be careful. Any reply yet from Lieutenant Cornell? They won't touch you, cop. You're marked. Damn straight you are. Ain't life fucking grand. Look what we have here. A sample bag. Blackie and Whitney had you pegged. Screw you. Ooh. Bad suggestion. <laughs>
kill this piece of shit. No. You can't kill him. He's Odin's man. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Kill him. No. 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 Survey says... done and the cops get in the way then go after him go go i can't feel my legs dragging i don't want my straw to have hush gaming that's olden's crap I get you out, and the city pays me, right? That's the deal? It's not negotiable. As far as I'm concerned... Listen, you... how are you going to get me out of here? You got a car? Well, no. You got a phone? In this place, we got messenger cockroaches. Then what's your plan? I'm working on it. Jeez. Now straighten up and look interesting. I got a reputation to keep.
BP's dead. Dragon had him shot. Dragon's been a fuck up since the beginning. His little brother's dead, too. Yeah, this is great. And where's Cornell? He stopped at Winchester for a little bit of action. Looks like we're gonna need new war chief soon, huh? Where's Dragon? Here. We had a pact. We'd take our turf back from the pushers. It had nothing to do with Viking fairy tales and games. If I violated that pact, I took this off VP, your right hand man. You used us. You used me and gave me, and you used the rest of us too to get rid of your competition. We were supposed to kill pushers, not become pushers. Now, if you really believe that I betrayed you, you would have pulled the trigger. It should be so clear to you. You know who your enemies are, and, and you know who your family is. What about the cook? I can't be responsible for everyone. I need your help, Dragon. We, we started this thing together. Help me. And Gamey. What about Gamey? Cornell killed your brother. It's time to take him out of the game. You're gonna owe me for that sheet. Why don't you put it on the bill, huh? Roach won't like it. Roach? You pimp? My manager. He gave me this place. Sounds like a prince of a guy. At least the pimps and gang lords are better than the landlords around here. I got a chance with them. Not like you cops or social workers or uptown Johns looking for a girl to beat on. You don't get it, do you, cop? Down here, you're one of the bad guys. So where is he, Roach? Third floor, end of the hall. Is he alone? Yeah, who cares, man? He's in there. last so long. All right. We don't have a phone. We don't have a car. I suppose a gun's out of the question, huh? Ron Ruby has a gun. Where is she? Upstairs. Well, come on. That's Ron Ruby? Yeah. I guess I'll have to sneak the gun out. I don't think she's going to notice. No one her. She's probably reading her horoscope. You got no lady? Yeah. For a few more hours. Now things are looking up. Come on. Follow him. Come on.
I'll get dragged. No, I'll go. Elevator. It don't work. Come on, Shema, you're wasting time. We gotta go. Wrap it around your hands. Come on. Let go of me. Grab the cable or grow wings. Yeah. Ah. I hold silver. What have you, Jacob? Huh? Up here, come on. If you got cowboy. Went down the elevator shaft. Oh, try the basement. Make a good repo man. No keys. On second thought, maybe not. Does everybody in this town know how to do that except me? Can I give you a lift, cop? Any place north of the bridge, ma'am. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You had all those rockers pissed off at you? I've got my girlfriend hostage. They're gonna kill her at dawn. If they haven't already. I helped you back there. Didn't I, Jake? Hmm? Oh, yeah, you're a great kid. But now everybody knows I helped you. If I go back, they'll kill me. The other side of that bridge there? It's my turf. You and I, we can get there together. I promise you. 
Besides, you can add it to my bill, huh? Damn straight I will. So what do we do? Well, I was hoping that maybe you had some, uh, you know, ideas like... Matter of fact, I do. Jake, come to me. Come on. There he is! Oh, no, you don't get off that lightly. After him! Doubling back.
We're gonna make it. Oh, shit! Fancy meeting you here. You're under arrest, Snake Eyes. Oh. It looks like I did you a favor now, didn't I? Pity. Because I don't think Dragon would have approved of you being in the drug trade. Dragon wanted to take Jungle Ground back, and I want to keep it. I can't do that without money. And who was going to supply you? Lazzardi wants a truce. You get it? He has to turn his trade to me. So, you're war chief now. We're going after Lieutenant Cornell. Get on the radio. Call an ambulance. Now! Call me. Jake. Hope's on its way, kid. I've never been uptown before. We're still partners, right? Huh? Damn straight. Yeah, you're damn straight. You watch her. Where are you going? I'm gonna steal your truck. Keys are in it. Over here, he's one of the good guys. <laughs>
Smith. Lieutenant. Jake. Lieutenant. You thought you left me for dead on the bridge, didn't you? Well, here I am. I've come to get the fuck responsible for my little brother's death. Good morning, boys. No, 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 no. Sun's about to come up. You said if I made it home before dawn, the game was over. I'm here. I only made that promise because I never thought you'd make it back to the lair. So it was a lie. Jacob, lies are for politicians. You and I are warriors now. I gave you my word. I won't kill you. But my soldiers will. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
enough of this shit. Talk about the company you keep. You wait. You wait. Let him live a straw life. kid you brought in came through surgery. She said something about a bill you owe her. Uh, Lieutenant, if we'd known that you were down there... That's what you think, man. I'm out of here. Hey, no. Let him go. So, you figure you can find your way home now? You did. We've seen you, Lieutenant. You can count on that. You're gonna keep going back then, aren't you? Look at those burned out tenement buildings and see something worth fighting for. Maybe dying for. Well, Sammy, same way you look at that, see part of something better. Something that might, might change people. I see something better right here. Huh? 